Now before we've talked about trying to create mystery functions and examine the data to try to create the actual equation. Well one thing students can also do is they can take the input and the results that they found and actually graph it to try to find what would be that equation. So if I come in here and I highlight my data and I go insert scatter plot, I can plot my data and I can change the layout and whatnot but for this regard, I'm going to delete out the result and I'm going to delete out the little key and just look directly at the data. And that looks like a very straight line. And if I notice here, I have all my data and I want to make the, the line that goes through there. What I can do is I can right click and I can do add trend line. Now I have options for my different types of trend lines. As I look here, I've got linear, polynomial, logarithmic, polynomial changing to different orders, whatever I want. But the two important things I want to make sure to click are equation and the R squared value. Now, the reason I do this is because the equation is going to give me the best fitting line through my points, and the R squared will tell me how good of a fit that line is. And when I get to a value of 1, that means I have a perfect fit, that this is the line that goes through every single point. And when we're talking about students trying to find equations based on data that they have, especially as they're learning about linear equations or even quadratic equations, that's a great feature for them to know I found the correct equation.